Okay, let's do this again. I have to, uh, this is my second take because, again, my microphone was not picking up. I was freaking recording the audio off of the freaking laptop. Now, I'm just going to get this out of the way. I am exhausted. Why am I exhausted? Because of my pain. I've been lying down for the entire show of Hell in the Cell. I'm watching it. I'm just lying down. I'm like, God, this sucks. My pain hurt. I wanted to do some reactions. I felt like I should have done it, but at the same time, I'm glad I didn't. Um, I just don't have the energy and the will and the power to do it, bro. I really don't. But um, I've been I've been sleepy by like the second hour, and here's the thing. I'm just gonna get, let me just get this out of the way real quick. Leave a like on this video, and I'll leave a poll on, on the top right on the top right of the screen. What do you guys think about Hell in the Cell? Did you enjoy it? Yes or no? I haven't done that in a while. Um, and leave your comments down below what you guys think about the pay-per-view itself. I think it was decent to good. It wasn't the best. I was. I will take No Mercy and Backlash over the Raw pay-per-view so far. And yeah, that's that's much. That's pretty much it. So we kicked off the show with Roman Reigns versus Rusev. Now, first of all, the, the set is still the same. I know they're not going to change it, but that pisses me off. The set is going to be the same. Like, seriously, man. I really hate that. I thought we are over that. With the new era? What? This ain't no new era. New era is not... You know, let me use the new set of Raw. Or, let me take the set from SummerSlam. And then use that for Raw. Even SmackDown at one point used the Raw set. A while back ago, but anyways, uh, Roman Reigns versus Rusev happened, and thank God it was the first match of the night, and thank God it was the it it it, it finished. This match was the most boring Hell in the Cell matches I have ever seen. I'm glad that I'm sticking with. Reigns versus Wyatt last year was better than this. I'll tell you that much. Um, besides all that, thank God it's over. I hope this feud is done. I'm sick of this Roman Rusev garbage. I'm done. Like I, I, I just don't care. Like after he won the U.S. title, I don't care. Um, Reigns will have the Universal title. I would like to see that. Uh, I want to see what they have for that. I mean, I know everyone's gonna hate it, but I feel like it's bound to happen. So I'm not even gonna try to fight it. It's bound to happen. Like Cena winning the 16-time title and then maybe passing Ric Flair. It's bound to happen. So there's no part of fighting it, you know? It was like with the streak. It's bound to happen and it's going to be ended. But sadly, they ended it at the wrong time with Brock Lesnar. So they keep hyping up Survivor Series, which which gets me upset because I'm like, Survivor Series is like four weeks from now. It's legit like 21 days or 20 days from now. Why? Why is this... Showing why are you hyping it up right now? I get it. Next pay per view, we all know what was gonna happen from the before Goldberg even came back. So, besides all that, uh, the second match of the night, I believe it was Bailey versus Dana Brooke. I have tweeted out, you know, I will smash Dana Brooke. I would, I would. She needs to drop the dark lipstick, reminds me of Paige, and uh, I just don't care about Paige right now. So, yeah, she needs to drop that lipstick, all right. But she she's fine. She her attire was way better than all the other attire she wore before NXT. I mean, I mean after NXT, I should say. Uh, she got caught with the ba with the ba belly to Bailey or Bailey to belly. I don't fucking know. And she lost. Bailey won the match. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God. Because I knew that was gonna happen. No way Dana Brooks gonna get a win on pay per view. Just saying. Oh my god. I have barely have any energy. I barely have any energy. My god. It hurts to breathe. That's how bad my whatever muscle cramp. I don't know. It hurts. Fuck man. It's like. You know it's bad when it's only one side of your body. That's how bad it is. <laughs> That's why I didn't do reactions or anything. Because this hurts so much. You have no idea. Alright. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, 
So we had the second Hell in the Cell match, I guess. I don't know what happened after Bailey and Dana Brooke. We had the second Hell in the Cell match. Rollins versus Owens. Best match of the night, in my opinion. Um, no doubt it was the best match of the night. Um, you know, Raw, the, that, that fucking spot. The powerbomb through two tables. And Kevin Owens' head bouncing off the damn cell cage. Oh my god. I legit lost my... I, I almost lost my shit, but luckily I can't because of my my problem. But I legit tweeted out, By God! What a powerbomb from Rollins to Kevin Owens, bro. Like, it was nasty. You guys got to check that out, bro. It was nasty. The powerbomb through two tables. I don't know how the hell Kevin Owens is still able to get up and, and continue after that. Kevin Owens is still able to run... Uh, we will not be seeing. We, we will not be seeing reruns. We will not be seeing Kevin. The Kevin Owens show get canceled because he's still Universal Champion thanks to Y Two J. Now Kevin Owens did something that that kind of messed me up. He freaking sprayed the fire extinguisher into the face of the referee. Now I'm thinking, okay, he probably fucked that up or that was on purpose. I don't know. And then the other and John Cullen referee came through and he took care of Chad Patton. And I'm just thinking, okay, what the hell just happened? I'm like, it's no DQ, so if there was DQ, then he'd probably do some underhanded type shit. But no, he, I don't know what he tried to do, but. And the suplex onto the onto the apron was nasty by Rollins to Kevin Owens. Holy shit. This match was the best match of the night. No one can tell me otherwise. Alright, no one. The match started to pick up after like 10, 15 minutes of the match beginning, so... And then Jericho came in. I'm like, okay, there might be a double turn. Jericho might turn on Kevin Owens. Or Kevin Owens might turn on Jericho. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nope. Jericho's still with his best friend, Kevin Owens. Helping Owens retain the title. And then giving Seth Rollins a cold breaker for good measure. This is the the tag team titles. We're on the line. Kofi. The New Day is always entertaining to me. But I just don't like the fact that they're holding the tag titles this long. They're like 440 or 38 plus days. And the Demolition uh, title reign is 478, I think, what Cole said. So, yeah, they need to lose the tag titles. They keep the titles. They didn't win the match. But I guess I have to use the word. They retain the tag titles due to DQ. COVID kicks and hits Sheamus with the trouble in pair of ice. And... And the New Day got disqualified. Now, I was butthurt. I'm like, fuck. I wanted them to lose the tag titles, but I'm going to have to wait for another time. Because Cesaro and Shavers did beat the New Day, so they earned another title shot. So, that makes sense. Yeah. And then finally, I think we, I can say I can go to this. Uh, oh, yeah. Anderson and Gallows beat Enzo and Cass. Uh, um, Sasha and Charlotte. Now. These two did their best, and I, I appreciate that. I love the beginning, but besides the fact that Charlotte attacked Sasha and then it went to the crowd, I'm like, is this WWE 2K17, which I miss playing so much, or is this real life on the song? By the way, did I mention I fucking hate Byron Saxton? I tweeted that he needs to die. And luckily, I was able to correct myself in saying the character, not the person in real life. Because, seriously, this guy's pissing me the fuck off. This guy needs to go away. Byron Sachs, then when Bailey come out, I wanted to... I swear I wanted to do something drastic to myself. I don't know what. Just flip to my other side. And let the pain get worse or something. I don't know. Like, it really pissed me off. Byron Sachs is just awful. He's awful. He sucks. I'm sorry. If you like him, I don't know why you do. I really don't know why. A person with a great smile doesn't mean shit to me, all right? I mean, I walk around in Jada Finch, people saying, I have a great smile. That don't mean shit to me. Sure, but yeah, he needs to go. Get off my TV. Like when Bailey came out, fucking Barbara Sexy. Oh, the wacky wavy flavor too bad. Or the new day come out. Oh, I need some of that booty. Oh, they need to catch one of the boxes. Oh, I talked to Big E. Oh, he'll, uh, he'll think about giving me a booty else box. Jesus Christ, I can't stand. Oh, by the way, Kendrick won the uh, Cruiserweight title. I just remembered that. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, Kendrick won the title. If you watch Raw Talk, Kendrick and Booker T, holy shit. 
I, I felt that. I felt that emotion. Booker T felt like, you keep pushing my buttons, son. I'm going to knock you out. I, I don't care that I'm 50. I'm going to get out of this chair. I'm going to whoop your ass. You cruise away. I'm a heavyweight. Remember that. <laughs> you know, uh, if you, you got to watch Raw Talk when it comes to Booker T and Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick made everyone feel stupid, and I love it. And I love everyone there. Uh, Lita and, and Booker T and, and Renee Young, especially Renee Young, because... You know, I, I grew up watching her um, on the score. Now it's Schwartz at 360. Uh, before Monday Night Raw comes on, I will watch it. Shit like that. So, yeah. Kendrick won. He uh, he was faking an injury. And he suckered uh, TJ Perkinson, which I love. And then Captain Hook, one, two, three. TJ Perkins got hooked by Kendrick. He's a man with a plan. Anyways. Like I said, with Sasha and Charlotte, they killed it. They did. They did the best. They did what they could. When Sasha was getting stretched out after being power bomb onto the table, which was nasty, I'm like, you know what? They're gonna pull some Daniel Bryan shit with the stretcher, and then she's gonna fight off. I was that close of raging on Twitter when JoJo was like the winner by forfeit and new women's champion. I'm like, oh my god! And after that, Sasha came in. Continue the match, and then I fell asleep for two minutes or a couple of minutes. I don't know how long. I woke up. It was replays. I woke up, and Sasha in the replay. I'm uh, sorry, Sasha in the replay hit Sasha with the natural selection, and she pinned her one, two, three. I'm like, why? Why? Again, we have to sit through this bullshit. Ow, that hurt. Ow, that hurt. Why do I have to sit here and just watch Sasha and Charlotte go at it again? You know, I'm done. I'm done with this feud. This feud is dead to me. I don't care what happens. I don't care if someone in their fucking family died and they brought up in the storyline. I don't care. I'm done with the storyline. The storyline's dead. Leave your comments below. Leave a like. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I'm going through the gym. And I am out. This storyline is fucking dead. Hell in the Cell was decent, though. <laughs>